Okay, Radio Grade 12, so, um, we are busy with civil and in this specific question I'm going to talk you through how to draw a section if we would cut through a window on an external wall. What does that section look like? And we are going to include the foundation that's specified here. Now this is of course the HSC workbook, we're on page 35, but again what is going to be shared will be important for each and every one of you regarding of the workbook. So just have a look here at what is given in the foundation detail and then in the given information. And so they kind of... Glory. Okay, sorry for that interruption. <laughs> now you actually get to see you guys have to smile. There's an actual class here. All right. It's a... Uh, the screen doesn't flip again. Apologize for that. Okay, let's get going on this. Um, sorry for that disruption. Okay, we are working here with a camera, phone camera. So sometimes things does not work out as I want. Okay, so let's start with that. They've given us the different heights. This here is the finished floor level. So remember that symbol, afgewerkte floor vlak, floor level, or for two way the floor vlak. Yeah? Um, this year will be the natural ground level, natuurlijke grondvlak. Alright, and then they tell you here a bit of more. They, there's an incomplete foundation, it's a double wall, wall, a window showing the inside sill, outside sill, DPC and lintel. That's what we have to add in. The outside window sill is a brick, and they give you that size. Then the inside window sill with its size and the details of the lintel. And then we need to Take some notes here, name the drawn views, label and indicate the following. We'll do that, hatching as follows. Okay, where to start? I would start using this information here, and it's drawn scale one, did they say? One to one. One to twenty. Oh, one to fifty. Sorry, here it says one to fifty. So on your ruler, if you don't have one to fifty, you can use one to five here, or you'll have to take the measurements and just divide it by fifty. So our load bearing wall is a 220. It's going to be 1 to 5. Oh, that's the. Yeah, you have to just have some room for yourself. Yeah, 200 and. Yeah, that's right. Do they say the width of this load bearing wall? No. Oh, what? oh, use the given to draw to scale 1 to 20. So is this scale then wrong? Must be, ne? Yeah. yeah. All right. So ignore this 1 to 50. That's 1 to 20. All right. So that's going to be much easier. There's your 1 to 20. And we're talking about a 2... two yeah. yeah? I think it will be answer for the way for the team. But it will not be able to yeah, no, yeah, yeah, this is not, here, in the eyes itself, and they're going to this work right here. Okay, so let's continue. It's a 220 wall. There it is. Got the width. Get yourself to the center. All right, you've got construction lines running down here. That's the width of my wall that I've started with. All right. Then I've got my height for my finished floor level, so we'll draw that across. There is my... Okay. Let's just quickly look at this. If that's the cutting plane, I have to look at the direction of the arrow. Ne? Now this arrow is pointing in this direction. Do you see that? So technically that arrow is sitting here. Are you with me? So if I look from the left hand side, will my will my inner wall, inner inside be on this side or that side? Then go go. my binnen kant van die huis aan hierdie kant wees of aan hierdie kant? If the, oh, I know they put this the arrow point on this side of the, but I'm actually looking in the direction of the arrow. So I'm looking from the left hand side. Is it by me? So what? part falls away, the side on which the arrow is. So now I'm looking and the inside of this building is on my left hand side. The outside of the building is on the right hand side. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. All right. So there we go. There's my um, 
fluorite. There's my natural ground level. And then I've got 250 down from there for the bottom of the foundation. And the bottom is 200. The foundation is 200. Right, the width there is 600 in total. 600, 600. All right, so here we go. Now you can start. That's what I know I'm confident in. I'm going to draw that in. There's my foundation. All right. Do they say what's a slab? Slab thickness. Okay, so let's work on 25 here. And then we've got a hundred for our 75 for our foundation. And that goes to the center. All right, so there's our concrete slab. All right, on, all right, and then our screed goes up against the wall. Then here we have our compact fill and our natural ground level on the outside. We'll do the hatchings now. So this line goes up here and it continues here again on the outside. Are you with me? Okay, can you see? Okay. So initially the scale confuses a bit and I wanted to be sure you understand this. That arrow is looking in this direction. So it is this side of the wall that falls away. What I see on this side is what I draw here. So the inside of this is on the left hand side, the outside. That's the natural ground level. You can add that with me. All right. Then there's damp proof course. I'm going to draw it in black. It actually runs like this. It goes here. Then it goes down here, and I know you never see these lines, but that is where the dam proof course runs. It's creating a little dam. Okay? So it runs all the way around, and so that's the DPC in Afrikaans, Vog Weer Laag. See, Bain Blay? Alright, that's my screed. We'll do the hatchings now. Then I get to the bottom of that window, is here. There's the top of this window. Alright? This is a little bit of a revision from last year. All right. That window frame, do they say the width of that window frame? All right. Let's we put it in the center here. About three millimeters. All right. That's a double line. All right. Then you have... On the inside, you have your window sill that is 150 by 25, so that's quite the. Um, and 25 up. All right, and then on the outside, you have your brick that's at 30 degrees, and that's going to be from this edge here. I'll make sure that's construction lines. Right, at 30 degrees. It's also in thickness 25. So. And in length 150. Okay, make sure you draw that with your 30, 60 degree triangle. Right, then there's a filling underneath that.
Okay, we'll do all that things in a moment. All right, that's fine for now. Then we move up with this wall. These, this wall is going to continue. Continue our lintel. It's 200 by 100. So it's entire width. There's your break. Okay, if we, um, this is a concrete lintel, so you do your triangles here as an indicator. Your wall has got hatching at 45 degrees and it's double hatching, so two close lines. Right, and then give yourself some good spacing so that it's clear. with that up here evenly spaced 45 degrees okay look at the hatching that's missing there's cement fill under that brick so just do a couple of dots you have a DPC coming out here at the bottom for weer laag here right then you again have screed here so a few dots that's concrete, so two or three triangles in the corner. Right, then this is the compact fill, so at 45 degrees. You can probably do this free end, I, I believe. Okay. 45 degrees. And then the undisturbed soil, two lines, two lines. Don't have to do the whole part, you can do the same on the outside. Okay, and then the concrete here, again triangles, triangle in each or two of the three corners, for the four corners. Okay, so if I look at the bottom, I've drawn my foundation, natural ground level, deep DPC in here. Please do a finish floor level indicator. That one you can do with the ruler. Right, finished floor level. Afrikaans was it the full floor flock. Okay. Yeah. Die wat? Ja, ek ek sê kwaad vir jou nie. Sit maar nog geen by. Niemand gaan vir jou kwaad wees nie. Kan maar drie ook wees. Yeah. Well, I is so gewoon al en ek dink hulle gaan net seker, hulle wil net seker wees jy doen tenminste die teen mekaar so. Okay. All right, so if we go up, remember there is a brake line. Finish floor level, your window sills, DPC, that one you need to annotate. Double line, sometimes learners forget these outside lines are also dark. All the way up lintel and a brake line at the top all right that is a talk through three five how to do a uh, sectional elevation on aa a deer sneer on sig op aa wat the venster in het allemaal by en allemaal blij enige vraag now it's your